Good morning again. Um, I'm now a couple of hours in to my day and uh, and uh, yeah, it's been great because it's funny, I realise why I need the time on my own in the morning. The first hour and a half, my thoughts are just crackers. Um, oh, it's resentment and it's, it's justification and it's uh, criticising and judgement and um, yeah, I just, do you know, I just let them fly this morning and um, they're funny things, aren't they, thoughts? They just pop into your head and then they go out again and thoughts are just thoughts, you know? Um, so I kind of, um, it was just as the sun was rising, I kind of realised that there was a peace that had arrived and uh, and in all that darkness and kind of, you know, uh, not being able to see everything. Um, I think uh, my thoughts were just running riot um, and it's quite funny. And uh, yeah, that's kind of gone now and I'm feeling um, really good. My, 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 my thoughts have shifted, uh, they've shifted to kind of oh, a bit more pondering life, death and the universe, you know? And, uh, and and just more positive and um, I don't know, well, I don't, yeah, that was, that's just how it is, you know? I spend so long trying to fight these thoughts and I shouldn't have them and things like that. And, and uh, I just accept them and let them be and I can move past them. And uh, that feels like what I've done this morning. So I'm, uh, I'm really glad I got up and headed out bloody early. Uh, so now I feel ready for the day, a couple of hours in. And uh, it's been a bit of an uphill slog, which was uh, quite tricky, but now I'm sort of walking on the tops and it feels lovely. Um, the farmers are out tending to stuff. The world's woken up. Today's going to be a good day. So today, I didn't fill you in on yesterday. Yesterday um, was after that tough slog up a hill. Um, then made it down to a town and uh, met a fellow pilgrim and we went for a swim in the sea. It was amazing. And then went and had some food and then and then slogged to the uh, to the hostel. Be wary. Um, my map said it was 0.9 kilometers, turned out to be 4.5. Uh, so I was gutted. <laughs> oh, and it was hard. But last night was lovely. Um, lots of fellowship with other pilgrims and chatting and fun. And, and then I, I kind of bailed at just before nine because I like to sleep and get up early. And sometimes it's all a bit much. There's a lot going on. And I can get a bit of FOMO kind of feel like I need to be in the middle of it all and actually I don't sometimes I just want to go and do my own thing so uh, yeah I'm gonna go now because I'm at the junction and I'm trying to find the way which I think those arrows are telling me is down there um, but I'm gonna go and check it out so have a fabulous day tonight hopefully I'm staying at a monastery um, so it's a place you can't book it um, I've cancelled my reservation that I made in safety and I am going to continue to a monastery and hope to get a bed. So they have 21 beds and you get there and they start checking you in at half three. Um, so I am going to just go on pure faith that I will get a bed tonight um, because it just sounds really cool. You get to, it's donativo, so you donate what you want and um, the monks cook you a nice simple dinner and you get a simple place to stay. And uh, yeah, I can't wait. These are the experiences that are very, very cool on the Camino, as they all are, even the crazy thoughts. So have a lovely day, everybody, and I will catch you later. Bye.